<laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Fernanda and today we're going to start our series for Community College Success Stories. And today we have Marwan Gillay here with us. Hello. <laughs> yes. He, um, there were only four people that graduated with a 4.0 GPA in the whole School of Engineering at the University of Connecticut. And guess what? <laughs> Marwan was one of them. So let's learn about him and his story and how did he became so successful. So Marwan, tell us about yourself. Well, as Fernanda said, my name is Marwan. Uh, I am a mechanical engineer. I graduated as one uh, at the University of Connecticut. Uh, I'm from Libya. Um, and a little bit about myself, I have um, three brothers, a sister, obviously my parents. Uh, most of us are doctors and engineers. And I love to play soccer mainly. Um, and any type of sport, ping pong, soccer, basketball, very competitive. So. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit. Very competitive. Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> so I know you attended a community college first. So why was that? Um, at the time, it definitely felt like the right choice. I think I made that choice um, shortly before moving to America to get uh, my degree. Um, and it just was that I was moving and I would be international. Well, in, sorry, in the case, uh, out of state. Um, so going into university was a lot more expensive um, and so it just made more sense uh, financially, you know, just based on my situation to go to community college and uh, I, I had a brother that was attending at the time. Uh, he told me it wasn't as bad as, you know, what they say, uh, like what you hear. And so I gave it a shot and, you know, I liked it. Yay. Um... So, in your case, do you think that there were benefits of attending a community college first? Uh, there definitely are benefits from attending a uh, community college. Number one, obviously, the big one is the financial situation is that you save a lot of money. Uh, in fact, most semesters, you're not paying so much and a lot of it is covered by financial aid if you can get it. Um, so that is like one big benefit, definitely, um, as, as well as uh, you when you're going to a community college, a lot of the times uh, the classes are quite small. You're not going to be attending a class that's uh, like 60 to 100 students. It's usually going to be ranging in between 20 to 30 students. So it's a lot more personal one on one. I feel like you learn sometimes a lot more in those type of situations. You also get to know uh, people a lot. It was a lot easier to get to know people. So, yeah, I, I think those are some like really good benefits that you get at a community college. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, um, another question: Do you see any value in obtaining a certificate or an associate before obtaining your bachelor's degree? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, getting your associates before um, graduating or if you want to get a, a bachelor's is you can definitely get a job on the way uh, with a better wage. You can either get a better internship, just even better position in general with an associate's degree. Uh, rather than, let's say, if you attended a four-year college right away. Um, so it makes you more uh, of a... Uh, how do you say, you, you're a stronger uh, candidate for the position. And so I, I think that's a, a really good benefit uh, down the line. Um, other things is if you get an associate's as well and you're kind of conflicted whether you want a bachelor's or not, you have that opportunity at a community college to stop at that associate's or to continue and get a bachelor's. So yeah, there, there's definitely some, some value in getting it. Yeah, definitely. I remember that actually one professor at a community college um, told me exactly that. Like, you never know what's going to happen in the future. So, like, if you have an associate, like, at least you have something in the meantime, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of students, you never know the situation and they just randomly stop sometimes. You don't know what the situation is ever going to be like, you know. So, yeah. I yeah. So how do you think that community college compared to universities? Uh, so a community college, uh, like I said, is 
you don't really think about the financial situation, which is a lot better. Um, in the case you have less stress, you're not always thinking about that financial like load on your back. Uh, so it's a better feeling. It's just less stressful and you can focus mainly on your studies. Um, another thing is that the community is smaller. Um, so you get to know your professors better, just students around you better. Whereas in a university uh, classes, uh, especially where I was at as University of Connecticut, classes were really large. You had Definitely. Uh, average classes were like 80 to 100, maybe more students. And so I didn't really know, I, honestly, I don't, even now that I graduated, I don't really know anybody, like just a couple of students. Uh, it was very hard to get to know people. Um, it was just such a large community. Uh, not that university is bad or anything, but it just, uh, you know, community is a lot larger, so it's a, a different game uh, and that uh, it's definitely uh, a little more intense when you go into university when you're studying. So, uh, yeah, so some differences, I guess. Yes. Um, OK, and I'm going to ask these questions because of some things that I've heard and I've seen online. Um, do you think that the professors at the community college are less knowledgeable than the professors that uh, you had at the university? I would say um, no. Because, um, some of the professors that you get at a community college that I've had at least myself, uh, they also teach at a university. Uh, some of them taught at the same university that I went to, University of Connecticut. So, and they taught me physics and they teach physics at the university at the same time. So I think you're getting, uh, for some subjects, the same level of education, uh, same quality. I don't think the quality is really changing that much. Another thing is that um, in the your community college years, uh, so it's the first two years, and a lot of the things, if you're going for a four-year degree, uh, a lot of the subjects are your general subjects. So uh, I feel like professors have a lot more knowledge and it's easier to teach the general subjects in comparison to one that's a lot more in depth that you might find at a university in your junior and senior year. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's a really good uh, uh, answer. Um, okay, so now, uh, how do you compare your extracurricular activities from the community college and the ones that you did at the university? So that's a good question. Um, I would say first off, when you, if you're attending some sort of like club or some sort of uh, extracurricular activity at a community college, um, because the community is so small uh, and the club is likely to be like smaller than what you would find at a university, those people you constantly see, you know, let's say if you have uh, a meeting um, once every two weeks, it's going to be the same amount of people you see, like maybe 10 people max. And so you get to really know them pretty well. Uh, that's actually where I met Fernanda. Uh, she had an engineering club uh, that she started and she was very persistent about it. And she was like, hey, I want you to join. <laughs> and I had oh no- Oh my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> I used to call you guys, where are you? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and then we just joined and honestly, a lot of the people that were in that group, I still know pretty well till today. Uh, so it's definitely one of the perks, I think, of like clubs at a community college. It's so small and so close and you, you actually get really close with the people you know. Um, whereas on the other hand, when you go to a, uh, a club at a university, I was a part of a club called UConn FSAE. You make like a formula race car they get a lot more funding and so it's a lot more competitive it's a lot more intense you may not get to know people as well but it's just uh, because of the funding in comparison to a community college which is i think there's like a vast difference uh you're likely to do just like a, a little more intense work uh but at the same time like i said uh the community college you get to know people a lot better so there's some ups and downs between the both yeah and you got the best the best of both worlds right yeah and uh with the extracurricular activities there's definitely some good opportunities that you could still do outside um so for instance fernanda she did uh research at princeton with it which is a really cool opportunity and in my case i did a competition at nasa so you can only be a community college student 
uh, when doing it. And it a, was a really fun experience. It's basically what happens is you do five weeks, I believe, which is online. It might be a, like a little intense at times if you have a heavy workload, but it's, it's worth it. It's really fun. Uh, you get to learn about NASA and like their goals, uh, what they want to do. And then they kind of test you, see like what you like, what you do when you do a little bit of research into uh, some of their work. Uh, and if they like your work, uh, you get to go on site. They fly you out to the NASA sites where you do competitions. You get to meet NASA engineers. You actually get to meet some really high up engineers and like managers. So super cool. In my case, I got to go back two times, which, you know, is slightly rare, but it was really fun the second time. I, get to, I got to meet Fred Hughes, and he was one of the uh, astronauts who was uh, there with Armstrong at uh, the Apollo. Oh, so that <laughs> is super cool. And honestly, that was, that was so fun. Did you take a picture? Uh, it was a Skype call, and I didn't want to take a picture like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have done it. I would have done it. Yeah, uh, it was a real fun experience. Uh, he was, he's definitely an older person now. Uh, but he has a really amazing memory and he has a dog that he really loves because half the time he was talking about his dog. <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember that. But it, it was super, it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a lot of fun. He was a nice guy too. Oh, I didn't know that, uh, like, you got lucky and went the second time because, like, I don't know, what did you do to get the second, to go the um, second time? So for the second time, what they do is they look at students uh, that are in the competition. If they just like that work ethic and like you just being motivated and happy and just love to be there, they'd love to invite students like that back. So if you just do um, that, you know, there could be the chance that you just get called back. And that's what happened. Uh, one of the uh, people who run it, his name was, uh, his name is Mitch. Uh, he, you know, they emailed me back and so that was yeah when i got that email <laughs> i knew i wanted to go back right away <laughs> that was Yay. A <laughs> yeah so guys i'm gonna leave um the name of the um opportunity down below so you can guys check it out and like definitely apply yeah. if you're a community college student but enough about community college let's talk about more about you <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Tell us your secrets. How did you become so successful? Um, what habits um, do you think that others can copy from you uh, to just become so successful in engineering school? Because, you know, a lot of people are struggling, you know, in engineering school. So I'm pretty sure they want to hear your tips. Yeah. So I don't think there's really any secret. Um, like my father always says, there's no secret recipe. Uh, and he's hard, one of the hardest workers I know. Um, he's really like determined and motivated. And he was one of my, I guess, people that I look up to and just kind of take. And I think just being successful in general, that's just it. You need to be a hard worker. You need to be persistent and motivated. Uh, and it's just about determination. Um, Honestly, even though I graduated with a 4.0, I don't think I'm an incredibly smart person. Uh, at times, I actually think I'm kind of stupid. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm like any other student. It's just I tend to put a lot of dedication and time. And that's one of the things you just you need to put, put in time if you want the grades. You know, it's not something uh, that you just you get like that. You know, it's just definitely something you have to place in time into. Um, I think another good thing is uh, being comfortable talking to your professor or your uh, teaching assistant as well. I feel like some people, they shy away from it uh, a lot and I, I see no reason not to. Uh, professors are more than willing to help out uh, and a lot of the times they even say it and like students really don't take that. Uh, they take it for granted is what I mean. Uh, yeah. But a lot of the times when you go to a professor, they'll actually genuinely be happy to help you out and walk you through the steps. Uh, so, um, you know, really that's it. It's just being a hard worker, being comfortable talking to people that can help you out uh, and just, you know, be motivated. Yeah, definitely. Those are great tips. 
So, what does the future hold for Marwan Gilai? Uh, yeah, so my future is uh, going to be a structural engineer associate at Lockheed Martin here in yeah. Connecticut. Uh, so basically what that is, is I'll be a mechanical engineer that uh, simulates a structure of uh, helicopters, how long it can run for before breaking down, uh, certain aspects into that. And it's a really cool software that I enjoy a lot. It's called Ancest and it couldn't probably have been a more perfect fit for me. Uh, when the manager called me up, he w told me it was, you know, helicopter simulation, ANSYS, and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> That's a perfect dream job, effect. dream job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check, check, check. <laughs> Oh, okay. So yeah, um, that's my feature. Oh, oh nice! Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, um, so going back a little bit um, on the community college, um, if you could go back in time, do you think that you will not attend the community college and why? I think I definitely will attend the community college. Uh, I tend to think things happen for a reason. Uh, and honestly, if I didn't go to a community college, I wouldn't know some of the people I know very well today. Uh, some of my close friends, and yes, Fernanda is definitely one of them uh, that I'm very close with. And you know, if I didn't know Fernanda, I'd be so upset. <laughs> I, honestly, I know you one, of, one of my big motivators here actually is Fernanda. I have oh, other thank you. Uh, and so, no, definitely, uh, community college was a big uh, aspect for me, and I, I think. You know, I got to know people very well. Uh, financially, it was very helpful for me uh, down the road. Uh, maybe in hindsight, when I was there, it, I didn't appreciate it as much. Uh, not that I didn't like dislike it. It's just I, I didn't value as much maybe at the time. Uh, and uh, it was just, I think, a funner time as well. So yeah, no, I really did love going to a community college. I thought it was a nice time. Yeah, for me too. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. So just to end, um, do you have any piece of advice um, or something that you want to say um, to others? So yeah, what I would want to say to other students is basically is you have the opportunity to do a lot. And <clears throat> this is like a time when you're in your community college and at university, you have a lot of time to do great things and have fun, you know, enjoy your time as well. Uh, you know, now that I graduate, you know, I might fall back and think back and kind of be nostalgic. But uh, advice I have for you is just be a hard worker, uh, be motivated, um, you know, and if you have a 4.0, if you don't have a 4.0, I mean, you know, don't, don't let that bother you. Even if you have something that's maybe not even that great of a GPA, that's perfectly fine, I think, in my opinion, as long as you work hard, you show for yourself and, you know, you just you continue to work hard continuously. I think personally for my situation, you know, I I came from Libya uh, in like a war country and I came to America. I thought everybody here was so advanced and so ahead of the game. I, you know, there must be like years of education ahead and I was like demotivated a lot of uh, the years, honestly. Some of the years, even towards the very ending of my engineering career, I would think, oh man, there's students probably way ahead, a lot smarter. Am I, I even questioned whether I was truly that type of engineering, if I was that engineering fit. And uh, even down the road, there was people who would tell me stuff, uh, and I'm sure they meant it in a good place, uh, not in a wrong thing, but they would always say, uh, it's impossible to get all A's in every class, or it's impossible to get an A in this subject, or, you know, there's no way you could do such a thing. And what I say is, don't, don't let that get to your head. If you want to get an A and if that's your goal, then get that A, just work hard and work hard as best as you can. If, if you can't, it's okay. Uh, that's not a problem. Work hard as much as possible, uh, you know, and just create your own thing, be motivated. You know, everybody has their own story and, uh, you know, just push, keep pushing. So, yeah. Yay, ladies and gentlemen, this is my one guy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was nice.